The final creative theme to consider on your photo walk is light and shadow. This is where a sunny day is vital. Sunshine activates a scene. Objects cast in shadows on other objects and surfaces can create more detail in your photograph and, and adds interest. Cropped and focused in, it can create a very abstract source of imagery. There are multiple ways to look for light and shadow. And again, I've broken this quite a large theme into four sections. So number one, get in linear. Find shadows as lines. This will be more typical in a built up environment once again, where there's lots of variety of architecture, which provide lots of straight lines. And where there is depth between the two surfaces, look for potential shadows. Number two, the interrupted surface. Light and shadow do not discriminate where they cast their mark. Look for any space and surface or otherwise plain surface when field of light can create new pattern and variety in an image. Again, move close into the image to where the activity is to really exaggerate this effect. Number three, backlighting. This means photograph an object or surface which is lit from behind. It's often easier to find this when the sun is lower in the sky, so this might be the early morning or late afternoon. You may need to crouch down and tilt your camera upwards to the light to capture this. The backlighting activates the edges of a subject and can provide that magic or romance in your work. Number four, shadow as texture. Mesh light structures or foliage provide a more textual shadow to cast onto a surface, giving your image more body and interest. If the surface with the shadow on it is already textured and patterned in itself, it's offering even more variety and richness to your image. So some actions to take away from the theme of light and shadow. Just to recap, you're looking for lines of shadow so often found in areas of variety of architecture. You're looking for the interrupted surface. Look for where light and shadow disrupt a surface and give it more interest. You're looking for where there is opportunities for backlighting. So think about the time of day that you do your photo walk and you're looking for light that's coming from the side um, and, and kind of shines behind an object that you want to photograph. And lastly, shadow as texture. So find structures and surfaces that provide a more textual shadow if it's cast onto another surface. I hope all that makes sense. Uh, good luck out there and enjoy capturing your creative themes. And I look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs>